Hello, welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Right, let's carry on. Level 11, just. So we're, I've made it down to this place. It's got fast travel and I'm going to speak to Natty. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Uh, let's say we can't say. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Sounds a bit like she's gone full rogue. I beg your pardon. How dare you? Threaten me. What's going on here? Uh, help the stranger. Right, I did have a little walk around here before um, recording this. I picked up a few chests. Rebellion. Nothing too amazing, but sometimes. in here tinted spectacles when I'm inside with your little sister but you should see the mummy they're beautiful these horses with wings who's talking right looks like we got um some side quests oh uh there's a there's a guy here um i did i sold a couple of well, I sold all my, all my clothing that we're... Free up some space, because we've only got the 20, 20 slots. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? And uh, bought a few potions off him. Let's sell everything that's lower ranked. this beach juice picked up some of that I hope to Let see me, you again um, sometime I haven't chatted to him Hello, other Sammy. options what can I do for you informations he's got any rumors any whispers going about the town there's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty she's an ashwinder 
She's stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. Catherine's hiding in a camp just southwest of town. Okay. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's my price is low enough already, you see. I see. Give me a discount last time. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions, and my ingredients are all local to this area. Okay. That will be all. Thank you for your time. Cool. Well, it was good to find him because before, as I say, before I recorded, I managed to sell all the clothing. Hmm. I Seems didn't need. Enough, little place. Um, let's just check because I have picked up now one or two items that are that puts us up to f up four. This puts us up eighteen. That's good. Uh, no better hat. Um, that actually puts us up too. Put that on. Put that on. But uh, I wish it would save your pref. Like if you choose not to show, it would save it because you got you have to keep changing it. And this scarf's not too good looking I still like the the look of that but every time you pick a new item up and put it on it will change it um I'll help this is gonna oh okay trials but he's gonna tell us about the Merlin trials okay got lots of stuff to unlock that I've seen other people on videos doing the Merlin Trials being one of them. Obviously getting our broom. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Oh, I know what I haven't done. I was gonna I usually usually have this up to I struggle a bit for frame, frame rates and decent stuff outside. This is a cycle. Let's go talk to them because might as well get these missions. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley of what the name? Bath Pinch Smedleys. Oh yeah. I was hoping someone Smedleys. would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see. I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Why not? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Oh Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. I'm new. What exactly is an astrolabe? 
It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool, essentially a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Can I keep it if I find it? Mm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found oh, here we be go. all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess wow. is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. But they drowned right next to Hogwarts. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. I know we could swim, but I didn't know we could dive. Um, let's go chat to this guy first before we get wet. What a, I mean, that's some sort of side quest stuff. What a good story that is. They must have come this way. Think! Charles and Merlin. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Hello. Rookwood, don't give a dog shit. Put your wands away. Time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so. <laughs> Enough out of you. Uh -oh. Leave her alone. Stupefied. Uh -oh. I wasn't expecting a. Accurate. I can do this all day. Gotcha. So come out. Hello. Oh, watch the light go out of oh, your dear. eyes. Wasn't expecting a boss fight type of thing. Right. Uh, collect the collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new type of enemy. You may learn valuable insights on enemies, such as their weaknesses or certain spells. The Ashwinder Duelist. Oh, I see you. Let me also. I'm not going anywhere. Holy, got that time Oh wow. Oh, hang on. These guys back. Zap and listen. Oh, I nearly died. Not today! Oh. Please stop! I thought these guys were dead. Well, what on earth just it... happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Never have I. So close to Hogwarts. Exactly. My thoughts. Oh, I've got those cabbage things I could have used. Um, let's just have a quick look at the guy because it talked about the um, combat. Defeat dark wizards. Okay, that's what they were. Okay, so these guys were Ash Ashwinder scouts. I'll probably end up calling them Arsewinders. Um, and that was the duelist. Okay. And then we've met these guys, the pensive sentries, sentinels, in the dungeon. And that was the troll. God, I'm getting low on old 
rookweed or whatever. Oh, I wish it didn't tell because I've just sneaked it. It's, with the side quest, it tells you what you get. Some clothing. <sighs> kind of makes me think I don't want to do it now. I'd, I'd rather not know and just... Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why they two weren't. Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Uh... You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Hmm. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Oh, cool. I think I've got some already, but... This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Yep. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Right, I've got four glowing things on here. Um, so I think I've got to maybe lift and move these, maybe? Akio. Levioso. Levioso. Oh, I thought just the pots off the top might do it. Let's just You've got the mallow suite to work now. What to do about these pyres? Lumos. Accio. Okay, because there's another one just just up the hill there with a place for a 
a ball or something. Um, let's try the fire spell thing because they're. Oh, look, there's the others over there. Incendio. Ah, here we go. The flames make the pyre sink. I don't see four, but three. I got to do it in time. Incendio. Thing is, incendio takes a while to be charged, but it doesn't here. Okay, three was enough. Complete the trial. One of two, it says. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the Right, let me have a look how much I've got because we picked some up. Uh, I've got eight. Okay, not too bad. I presume I had nine before. So exploration, Merlin trials. Okay, increase storage for gear. That'll do. I've got lots of challenge. <laughs> so many things still to do. Well, even not still to do, but still to start really. Um. Well, now it says three of six. Oh. Well. This game's so cool. Ah, and she's off. Okay. Nice way to travel. Revelio. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Ooh, is he? I love the way they pace the missions and... Well, let's see if we can, uh, I mean, I don't know. Is it northeast? I don't have a compass. Well, it's because I haven't got the mini-map on. Uh, I didn't mean to click that. To click map. Um... Well, the Merlin trials show up on the map if you've been near them. That's this symbol. I mean, northeast of the lake is right up here, but they said northeast of the dock, I think. So, so I'm thinking it's over here, kind of thing. Well, I've been in the water, but I didn't realize we could uh, dive unless I have to get to this is still quite shallow here weird swimming I mean it's sort of one-handed one-handed crawl or something one-armed crawl Um, 
give me any options to dive. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family oh. astrolabe is. Can I? Can't do my spit. I was going to do Revelio. So unless it's a cutscene thing, or but I can't can't do reveal. It's just going to prompt me to. Oh, hang on, here we go. Here we go. Oh, nice. First year cap. Right, it did say it was clothing, so is that it, maybe? Thought we would have picked up the, the swimmer back, because there might be a couple more. It's very, uh, I don't know why they went with that animation. I mean, it's almost like he's got a broken right arm. else came up so I guess let's just have a look if it says it's done ba -ba, missing pages see look I mean it spoils it a bit it tells you what you're uh, do, do this thing wasn't it let's just highlight that dive in the black lake and find the astrolabe yeah because they haven't found the astrolabe well, hang on, let's look at items. That looks awful. I'm going to take it off. Thing is, I can't, I can't do the Ravelli. I, I don't even know where I pick the um, pick the cap up from. It's certainly around here where it got deeper, and then over here. Hello, it's raining. Oh, I hear something. There we go. I heard the bubbling. Okay. I mean, it's cool. I kind of wish I could do a reveal. I guess I need to I need to listen out for the bubbling. Silence. Mm. Obviously in the right. Uh, 
Um, I wish there was maybe just a few bubbles. You have to obviously get near it to... This is shallow here, so it's not going to be here. And we found a hat and a kit. There's either every bit of clothing and then the astrolabe or just maybe that will be the next thing we find can't help feel them lost <laughs> Quite a cool but strange mission. Um, it's getting it's getting dark. I can't swim fast. I just wish there's a bit more. Oh, hang on. I can, oh, I can swim. Fast. Oh, right. Okay. If you do the run commands. Oh, well, that. Okay. Now we're now we're doing the crawl. Okay. Bear with me, people. I'm I'm new at Hogwarts, you know. This swimming, right? So now we can. Oh, I hear bubbling. Yeah. Another nightcap. Okay. Oh, is that another one there? There we go. Oh, and three Wigan well. Awesome. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Right, well, imagine that's it then. Let's just have a little cruise around. <laughs> oh, well, people. Don't make the mistake I made. If you want to swim properly, you need to run. Run in the water. But me thinks that might be it. Probably says you gotta collect three things and then the fourth one will be the astrolabe. I've got proper swimming action now. Now we don't have a broken arm. <laughs> I climb up out of the end. You didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Uh, no, not the dive. My swimming I found difficult. Oh, I can't get up. That's it. I'm dry. Here we go. Hello, Grace. 
I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? Oh. I did and I'm keeping it. I did and it's yours for a price. Hmm. Let's go for that one. I did, Let's but it wasn't that. easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. Hmm. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Oh, really? Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. So we've got 20 and we've got a mermaid mask. Okay. And 180 XP. Right, um... I think there's a Merlin thing up, uh, or maybe it's not. I think it's, there's a big. Let's just have a look at. Stats of these. Well, that's better. <laughs> Stats, I mean. <laughs> Thank God they introduced this. And that's better. So, Gryffindor, I'll keep that. It looks quite nice. Keep that on for a bit. Um, all right, got 4,000 coins. I think everything else we found was just the caps, isn't it? Right, so this like the... It's just going to be something we can wear if we want to. Appearance stuff, it's nothing to do with... Stats, um... Cool. Right, well, there's... Oh, what was that? It scared me. 